Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen Team, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to spruce up the built-in search element with a search icon button and a neat little hover effect. So let's jump straight into Oxygen and get started building. Here I'm in the main template of our conference design set. And this template already has the header, footer, and inner content areas set up. And what I'd like to do is add a search icon to the top right of the page in the header that will allow users to search the posts on my site. So because there's some prep work we need to do, I'm going to go ahead and add a section here below the header. This isn't necessary. This is just a preference of mine because I don't want to worry about positional problems while I'm just getting all of my elements set up. So the first thing we need to do to start setting up our search icon is to create a wrapper. So we'll just use a div. We're going to need a code block. So let's drop in a code block. And we're going to need a search element. So we'll type search, uh, search form here. And then we're going to need our icon. So let's drop in an icon here. And let's go ahead and pick the appropriate icon, which I think is under search. Yep. So now we have all our basic elements that we need for this fancy search element we're going to be putting together. Now we need to really just make a game plan. I know that I want an icon instead of the default search button. So let's start there. To accomplish the goal of having an icon instead of a button, we're going to need to hide this button. So let's take a look at the search form element and there's no way to hide the button with the built-in controls. We can make it transparent, which I am going to go ahead and do and we'll make the text transparent as well, but it still takes up some space. So we're going to need to hide this with a little bit of CSS. And that's where our code block element comes in. So let's click the code block and we're going to go to CSS. And I know that that search button has an ID of search submit. So I can just target that by ID and say hashtag search submit. And then declare display none. And that completely gets rid of that search button. Now, since we need the code block, but we don't want the code block to actually up here, we're going to go to PHP and HTML and get rid of this echo that comes with it by default. And that will hide that code block. Now we want this search icon to live over to the right of our actual search field. So let's select our div wrapper and we'll choose layout child elements, stack child elements horizontally. And we'll choose a middle vertical item alignment as well. Now we can go ahead and style up our icon a bit to make it look how we'd like. So let's choose a color from our design set here. And let's reduce the size considerably, maybe 36. And then let's go to advanced size and spacing and add some left margin, maybe eight pixels to space it out from that input. Now I'm going to select the input itself and change the border color to none because I don't want to have a border and change the border radius to four pixels. Now we want to apply some styles to this input that we can't do using the controls in oxygen. So let's save this and let's jump up to the front end and take a look at the way this is structured in the code. Obviously we can't see it, but it is there. So we'll right click inspect. And basically this is an input type text value, nothing ID equals S. So we can actually target it by the ID because there shouldn't be any other elements with that ID on the page. So let's jump back over to oxygen and we will go to our code block, which we have to use the structure pane for now, since we hid the element and we'll go to CSS and we'll just use hashtag S. And we're going to do a background color and let's make it a transparent black. So we're going to do RGBA 0, 0, 0. 0.15 and that should give us a nice gray color depending on what the background is. And that may even be a bit dark. So let's try to go down to 0. 0.1. That's good. So let's jump up to the front end and take a look at the styles. Refresh here. 
And now we have a nice stylish search field, but it doesn't work yet. Clicking this icon does nothing. So let's make it function. So we'll go back over here to our code block and we're gonna use some JavaScript here. So we'll go to primary, JavaScript. And basically what we want to have happen is that when this icon is clicked, we should simulate a click on the actual search button that's now hidden. So actually we need to grab a couple of selectors here. So let's go over and grab the icons ID. So we're gonna copy that. And then we can go back to our code block and we can go to our JavaScript tab and do jQuery and paste in that ID with the hashtag on, click, run a function. And the function we want to perform is to simulate a click on that search button. So then we just do jQuery, search, submit with the hashtag because that's the ID of the search button, click. All right, we'll apply that. And then one more thing we want to do, a nice final touch, is we want to make our cursor turn into a pointer when we are over that icon so that it looks like it's a clickable element. So we'll make sure we have our icons ID here and we'll go to CSS and we'll just target that. Oops, get rid of one of those hashtags, don't need that. And then we're gonna declare cursor pointer. So let's save that and let's just run a quick test to make sure everything's working. Refresh up here and we indeed have a pointer when we're over the search icon. And let's do a search for error because one of my fake posts definitely has error in the title. And let's click this. As you can see, we have search results and the first result is the one that contains the search term in the title. So we have a fully functional search form here with an icon instead of a search button. As you can see, it's relatively easy to set up. There's a little bit of prep work involved, but once you have all your elements in there, it's just a couple of lines of CSS and JavaScript and you have a fairly custom search element. Though in this case, I do wanna go one step further and add a nice effect on hover. I don't want the search field to always be visible. I want it to be revealed when we hover the search icon. So let's jump back into Oxygen and we'll implement that. So as you can see here, we're already targeting our input with this S ID. So we're gonna use that to apply some more styles. So first of all, we want this to not be visible unless the search icon is hovered. So we're gonna say opacity zero, which hides it visibly, but we also don't want it to take up any space. So we're gonna say width zero pixels, okay? And one more thing we wanna do is we wanna set this to position absolute because we don't want this element to impact the position of elements around it. So we'll set it to position absolute, top O, left O. And then one more prerequisite we're gonna to wanna to do to have that absolute positioning be a little more predictable is we wanna select the wrapper div and set it to under advanced layout position relative. Perfect. Let's go back to our code block and continue working our little CSS wizardry here. So now we're in the unhovered state. The input is not visible and it has no width. So now we need to grab the ID of the container div. Now note, if you were doing this a lot, I would probably recommend using classes instead of IDs just because they're gonna be easier to remember because you'll be able to name them descriptively rather than working with these rather long IDs. But in this case, since we're just building the one element, the ID works just fine. So let's go back to our code block now that we have the ID of our wrapper div and we'll go to CSS. And basically when our wrapper div is hovered, we wanna change some styles on this search input. So what do we wanna do with it? We want to set it to a width of maybe 150 pixels, an opacity of one so that we can see it. And then to position it properly, this is somewhat of a guess, but I think we're gonna to have to set the left value to negative 158 pixels to kind of keep a little bit of space between it and the icon. So we can just test that really quickly here and you can see it's it's showing up, but let's, uh, let's select the section and align everything to the right. There we go. 
So now it's appearing when we hover the search icon. So let's go back to our code block. And one thing we're definitely gonna wanna do is we wanna apply these styles when the search element is focused as well. So we can use uh, hashtag S focus and that should do the trick. Let's just test that really quick because that's pretty important to have the element be visible when we're typing in it. So yeah, we can move our mouse away and it still is visible. Okay, now it's kind of abrupt when it appears. So we're gonna wanna go back to the uh, original rule we made for the uh, search input and set a transition of something like 0.3 seconds for all properties. And then I like to use ease and out as my timing function. So let's look over here and perfect. Let's jump to the front end and look at what we have. Refresh. And we wanna search, go up here, type in our search term and ta-da, we are searching. So we can actually go ahead and move this where it's gonna live now. We can go up here to oxygen and we'll grab this whole div here and let's expand our header out to find where we wanna put it. We wanna put it in row right, perfect. Now we can get rid of this little section we made as our kind of temporary location to style everything. And let's jump back to the front end and do a final test here to make sure everything's working exactly as we'd like. So here we have our page, Summit Sponsors, and we wanna search for something. Well, there's a magnifying glass. I wonder what happens if we hover over that. So we go up there and it expands out nicely and we type in a search term that we suspect we might be able to find. And we can either hit enter, which still functions just as it would if that original button was there, or we can just click the search icon. So that's a quick and easy way to set up a slightly fancier search element in your Oxygen sites using basic Oxygen elements and a few lines of CSS and JavaScript. Again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and thank you very much for watching.